What are the quiet luxury brands that only the super rich know about? John Lobb Bootmaker in St. James. Make beautiful handmade shoes for royalty, celebrities and rich types. They are well known but not a household name. Duxiana. For people who can buy a mattress that costs as much as a car. Tailors on Savile Row. Wealthy people get their clothes custom made. I had a rich friend once tell me that Gucci is what poor people think rich people wear. Since then I noticed that all of her clothes fit perfect, but she never has logos on anything. I used to be of the opinion that really wealthy people wore stuff that you wouldn't really notice, but disappointingly having spent some time around folks with extreme wealth recently, the true answer is just whatever the hell they like. If someone really liked branded gear before they were wealthy, you'd better believe they're going to be dressed like Ali G once they make it big. Holland and Holland hunting rifles and shotguns. Handmade and custom fitted guns. Prices are on the luxury car level. Nice try, pause. Amels. They are one of the best super yacht manufacturers in the world with over 100 years of experience. I'm still riding the high of the $4.99 rotisserie chicken I bought at Costco so I think I'm a head out before I get depressed. Frette for bedding and towels. Holland and Holland, 1k for a hat, 10k smoking jacket and 500k for a shotgun, though the carve your dogs and manor in the side of it. How would poor sleps on Reddit know of super rich brands? I don't know if this is quiet or I'm just extra poor, but Loewe is apparently a thing. I saw an ad that they'd be doing a special launch with Howl's Moving Castle inspired fashion so I signed up for alerts, thinking I'd buy something when it was released. Shocked to receive a notification for like, $11,000 jackets. Bookmarking for when I'm super rich. Zubeco crazy expensive wallpaper and room dividers panels. I love old Rococo and Baroque things so happy to walk by their store in NYC. Stopped in due to the patterns and quickly realized I do in fact not have thousands of dollars per foot for wallpaper. For example $5,000 $30,000 per panel. Mugatu. Good Kashmir. Can't state a specific brand, but Good Kashmir is something that is a pretty penny, that is 100 worth it. Target. Grey Poupon. Loro Piana is an example, but I was wondering what other brands like this are out there. Guild anti shirts for sure. Everything they wear on succession. I have a close relative that isn't a billionaire, but close. He wears custom Levi's and custom made red t shirts. He usually switches shirt colors every year or so to match his newest favorite car. Red matches his new Corvette. Kaleidoscape Home Movie Servers. Started in the heyday of DVD and Blu-ray before streaming. Even had a proprietary DVD ripper that could do 100 at a time like the record players of old. Their software even matched the movie to the data so it looked like you were scrolling Netflix long before it was a thing. Saw some of tech who serviced ultra-rich home theaters. While not adhering to the quiet part of the question, I'll submit home stereo speakers. A set of transmission audio speakers goes for $1,200,000. Used to live in Irvine which is next door to Newport Beach, one of the wealthiest zip codes in SoCal. The thrift shops and storage auctions had some really high-end stuff. Bought a storage unit for $120 once and it had a ton of Tom Ford, Brunello Cuccinelli, the row. Sold them online for nearly 20k total, keeping a few Tom Ford shirts and a Brioni suit that I got tailored. Thanks for the job search material op. Xenia, their jackets go for 10k 30k used and have no visible logo. All of their items are extremely expensive but rarely do they show their logos, they only do it discreetly on their cheaper items I believe. I have a leather jacket from the my grandfather bought 40 years ago and it is the best leather jacket I've ever seen. The store in London Simon Cowell goes to once a year to buy 100 sweaters. 
I had a boss who flew in a jeweler from New York so his wife and daughter could shop. Same guy who said he couldn't afford to give us woefully underpaid staff raises then call everyone out to see the new top-of-the-line BMW he just bought. A Lang and Zerno watches. Lacorn new and Arga high-end ranges, rotisseries, and other kitchen items. When I met my wife she worked selling high-end watches. Talking about it on our first date I said oh like Rolex and stuff. She said Rolex customers are just new money, drug dealers and old men. If people contact us wanting one we just direct them to a watch shop. Then rattled off a list of about 10 makers I'd never heard of which her international clients would fly here just to try on. I was wearing a Luminox at the time which I thought was pretty badass but all of a sudden I felt like a kid running around with that gadget from Ben 10. Bespoke Kirkland Extra drowsy knee quill. Romane Conti. $10,000 bottles of wine that you've never heard of. Newport Brass. Decor. Viking. Lark or New. These are appliances and electronics brands, my super rich boss and his kids wear normal clothes just like you and me. DuPont, as in the $1,500 lighters.